Hello, CTA. It's great to be talking with you again. Last year, we talked about the decade of 5G getting underway. And I pointed out that we were past the hype phase, past the theoretical, that we were in the first inning of what I like to describe as about 10 years of innovation per wireless generation, RGs. A lot's happened since we last spoke, both in our world and within our industry. When we start thinking about the possibilities of 5G, one thing became very clear to me. True change, a major shift in technology, or how we think about it, can't and won't come from incumbent thinking. We need to think differently because we will miss our biggest opportunities if we use a 4G mindset in a 5G world. Insiders like you know that we have critical needs in front of policymakers and the administration. Things like a cogent, well-planned spectrum roadmap and thoughtful siting policies. We need a pro-investment, pro-competition approach that builds off the success that we've seen from 2G to 4G. Now, all of those are necessary and they're coming. So that won't be the focus of my remarks. What I'm here to talk about is this. We need to think bigger, collectively. What of the technology that we as an industry provide, whether 5G or frankly any broadband technology, is disruptive in new ways, disrupting what's expected of it by having an end goal of creating positive societal change to build a better and more equitable world? You know, 4G's value ultimately benefited platforms and the app ecosystem more than anything else. With bigger thinking, together we can make sure that 5G does more. It can help break down the divides that hold us back. How we teach and learn, how we receive and give care, how we produce and distribute food, and how our planet can be protected. Those things become so much more efficient with better connectivity, better insight, better collaboration, better with all the things that 5G will bring. So let's be really intentional about this. Let's have the dialogue. 5G will drive clear economic benefits, but how might it do more? 5G, a generation to drive us forward. Together, we can use 5G to, yes, lower latency, increase download speeds and service. That's a given. This decade of 5G will help break down the divides that hold us back. Education, healthcare, our environment, Together, we will drive incredible leaps forward. 5G. You know, when COVID forced families to turn their living rooms into classrooms, a key part of the digital divide, the education divide, came into full view. Unfortunately, the education divide overwhelmingly impacts Black, Latinx, and Native American students, who overall did not have equal access to devices or reliable internet for remote learning. An interesting McKinsey study estimated that students of color fell behind 12 to 16 months with remote learning, compared to five to nine months for white students. This learning loss is simply unacceptable. Things have to change on accessibility. There's no other way to put it. It must change. Learning loss is what we can help prevent. Now, the good news is that our industry is responding. As individual companies and together through efforts, like the CTIA Connecting Kids initiative, we've helped connect almost two and a half million children by providing free or discounted service and devices, in addition to millions of dollars in donations and resources. As an industry, we all know we're investing billions of dollars to improve connectivity and help collapse these digital and education divides. On the economic side, according to CTIA, 5G will create more than 100,000 jobs in education, which are badly needed jobs that will teach, inspire, and empower our country's future leaders. All of this means that education and learning can evolve to make exponential leaps forward in this next decade. Technology can do so much more than just textbooks. Think about life-size 5G-enabled holograms answering questions from students in their classroom or in their homes. A great case study is USC's Shoah Foundation, which recently created life-size holograms of Holocaust survivors in volumetric capture. This means that students and others can have actual conversational interactions with these important eyewitnesses to history. With AR and VR, students are able to tour a nuclear plant, visit the bottom of an ocean, or experience a rocket launch 
in near real life form. All of this will redefine how we learn at virtually every school in America, whether urban, rural, or on a reservation. I want to now move on to the healthcare divide and the possibilities there. You've probably heard a thousand times that 5G is going to transform the healthcare industry. And when it comes to potential medical advances like robotic surgery, remote monitoring, or even nanobots, that's absolutely correct. But there's another way that 5G will ultimately transform healthcare, and it's also all about access. The pandemic accelerated the telemedicine and the telehealth boom due to clear benefits of access, convenience, and safety. These are great trends which we can accelerate. Think about the state of medicine right now. If you were to contract an aggressive or rare disease, unless you live near a teaching or specialized hospital, which are most likely in a major city, you're at a disadvantage simply by proximity. And that's not okay. A patient's fate and potentially their survival shouldn't be determined by proximity. It should be determined by possibility. 5G promises ubiquity and collectively our site should be set on the economic delivery of 5G-enabled health in places like Northern Alaska, West Texas, reservations, or even the Everglades. And this can change the idea of what a teaching hospital is by creating a community of like-minded medical professionals that spans the world, not just a city. Not only can 5G solve the problem of proximity, it can massively improve how doctors are trained. AR can replicate a real-life surgical procedure and building on our education example from before, at Case Western Reserve University, medical students are using VR-enabled headsets to explore incredible three-dimensional images of the human body and organs. Today, those headsets are tethered, but of course, with 5G, they'll soon be wireless and usable from anywhere, meaning that those students and doctors we talked about earlier from Alaska or the Everglades can all learn and train remotely. Now that we've discussed the education divide and the healthcare divide, there's one more divide that I want to focus on today, and that's the resource divide. As we think further out in this next decade, there are huge societal problems that our industry can help solve. We don't know all the answers, so today let's focus on what needs to be solved instead of how it will happen. Our planet and how we manage its resources is one of those issues. Let's click down into one facet and talk today about food waste. Incredibly, we're wasting or throwing away upwards of 40% of our food when, even before COVID, more than 42 million Americans, including 10 million children, are suffering from food insecurity. That means they don't know where their next meal will come from. We can change that, even if we don't know the exact solution right now. But imagine an intelligent 5G network across the U.S. connecting those who need food before it's about to expire or be tossed. Advanced supply chains on standby to deliver it to those in need. These approaches can also help make our planet a cleaner and more sustainable place. It's estimated that 11% of the world's greenhouse gases come from food waste. But the biggest sources are from production, electricity, and transportation. As the true power of 5G takes hold, it has the potential to redefine what corporate sustainability can be. Just weeks ago, AT&T announced the Connected Climate Initiative, bringing together companies to use technology like 5G to reduce greenhouse gas emissions at an enormous scale. We aim to reduce global emissions by a gigaton by 2035. That's roughly the emissions from 200 million vehicles per year. Now, this isn't just about one company. It's about all of us coming together. That's how massive change can happen at scale. Cars get smarter and more efficient. Connected energy systems maximize output while minimizing emissions. We apply that across the board, no matter the industry, and you can start to see what's possible. Era by era, G by G, connectivity has paved the way for progress bringing hope for decades to come. 5G will continue this legacy, making the world a greater place for us all. Together, we'll end divides and better our lives, work, play, community, and planet. So what are we waiting for? Let's change the world together today. 
The connectivity we build creates enormous possibilities. We've come so far, and our industry is a shining example of healthy competition, benefiting both our society and our economy. We all can and will take this to the next level. Let's use what we do to have a profound impact on this next decade. Disruption doesn't need to only be about markets and business models. Real disruption is breaking down divides to solve problems. It's about becoming more equitable. That's what I want to do. That's what I want us to do as an industry. We can do so much more for so many more if we just think differently together. Thank you.